Thank you. I wish Streamlabs would have like a fucking... Everything looks smoother. Yes, for now. I just wish Streamlabs would have like sort of thing where it would go... Oi, your uh... Your, st your stream stability ain't all that good start ready for start. Would you please like to check, check some things out? I know, it doesn't have that. Knowing alarms out that cannot be turned down, <laughs> indeed. Oof. But yeah, I did actually figure out how to make my alert box, uh, alert box sounds work, so it doesn't uh, come off the monitor, but instead it comes out of the PC itself. And not <laughs> out of the PC itself. Yes, uh, I meant instead of coming out of the monitor, it would come out of my headphones. I mean. Yeah, it was a stupid struggle, but hey, I managed to do it. Does it even look like uh, it's even dropping a little bit of frames either? Hey, V. Are you holding up? Yeah, smoothest stream ever. <laughs> Chatty mood, I see. Not really. Sorry. So, what happened? Needed someone to talk to. Uh huh. First, take a look. Uh, sound quality is better than usual. Yeah, I uh, I worked a little bit with the settings uh, from a little bit ago. More dead politicians. Just watch it. I managed to figure out that the compressor was not the thing, it was supposed to be like some sort of filter thing as well. Or, or another filter that I had to set up. Copy that. Out of the car, hands up. Easy, officer. Relax. Shut your mouth. Oh shit. Ah, uh, we have a 1053 and a 1054. I repeat, a 1053 and a 1054. The boy from the footage is Lavar Martinez, age 17. His parents reported his disappearance over a month ago. Hmm. Unfortunately, Lavar's life could not be saved. His body could not withstand the severe septic shock he suffered. Autopsy reports reveal the teenager was given dangerously high levels of hormones, anabolic steroids, and stimulants. The possessions and genetic material of seven other missing teens were also found in the car, belonging to one Anthony Harris. Unfortunately, their fates remain unknown. 
Although the criminal widely known as Peter Pan survived the gunshot, he has not regained consciousness, making interrogation impossible. Please stay tuned. This is uh, Peter Pan. He in no case? You were looking for him? Never heard of him. Didn't cross my desk. What's the problem if they caught the guy? My nephew, Randy. He disappeared not long past. From what you just saw. The kid was wearing Randy's shoes. Oh, Jesus. Randy's disappearance. You know anything else? I should probably start My doing, uh, you know, unblocking my recipe for streams. Uh, I don't know much. Just wish I could have been there for her when she needed it most. And what? They figured you'd get emotional and kept you off the case? More like a restraining order. Won't let me anywhere near it. Gonagle took the lead on it. Lazy ass gonk. And so far, he ain't accomplished shit. No way I'd let this lie. I know. And that's why I'm asking for your help. So what do we need to do? Can't interrogate the guy because he's a veg, but... We can view his dreams. I'm sorry, dreams? You heard me. Come on, I'll explain on the way. Ooh! Now things will get interesting. But it's already yielding results. They record dreams that can be played back as VDs. You got access to these dreams? Not yet. They keep them in the lab ready to now. Please tell, tell me there is murder. It's the only thing I'm good at. <laughs> Please, I've, I've already put enough of my fucking result <laughs> stats into the fucking... Let's get more smacking. Indeed. I want to smack people with my shotgun pellets. I need to get me an annihilation up. Not exactly. We're going together, but uh, not through the main entrance. We're gonna break the law? We'll find a different way in and then hustle out quick. Never actually been here. So I'll need your help. Yeah, it would have been hilarious if he would have stopped the red lights, indeed. Okay, shouldn't be anyone inside. The lab's in the middle of an audit, so make all the noise you want. How are we gonna find this brain dance? We'll look for a room where they edit the dreams of autistic kids. Oh, and remember, Peter Pan's real name is Anthony Harris. Nope, oh, that's the shit up. Hmm. That's cute. <laughs> Locked. Can't get in. There's a task to check. Maybe it's a lot of PBs and detect PTs. BDDDPPPPB.
Always more euro dollars. Honestly, I would have rather preferred euro yen, but what you can do? <laughs> What do you mean, no? It's the highest one we have had the chance at. Ass hair. Asshole. Hey, River. I think I got it. Found something? Not yet. Anthony Harris. Let's try these drawers. Someone wants to be a cop when they grow up. Bill Graham? No. Anthony Harris. Say, River, why not just have a janitor crack a door for you? I would be pleased to if my name was River. Yoan! What are you doing here? You got kicked off the force! Just suspended, actually. What does she mean by that? He hasn't told you? Yawin, please, listen to me. Aren't you in enough trouble already? Harris kidnapped my nephew. And that was the easiest Rubik's Cube ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's been a few of those. But we store evidence here. And we have strict protocols. Protocols? I'm talking about his nephew's life here. A child's life. This is an ongoing police investigation. Go, please. Get out now. Listen, you work with badges, right? You know what they're like. Feed them analysis, they'll shit out failure. This type of thinking is the very reason we live in a lawless city. Lawless? Remember your first med school exam? You know the one. Passed it with flying colors. Gotta remember it. Ladies' room erupted in flame. They evacuated everybody for two hours. I cannot believe you would throw that in my face. I never wish to see you here again. Especially you. You don't know him well, do you? This man is a bastard. River and I get along. We're friends. Hasn't let me down yet. Huh. I thought us friends, too. Is that why you're refusing to help him out? Harris is dream beating. Where is it? He isn't dreaming. What? Why? A bullet damaged his cerebral cortex. We get only dissonant urges. Pieces. I'd like Try to... Try audiovisual stimulation. But he isn't on the spectrum. A favorite song or movie helps you reach the kids. Might be worth a try. I am aware of the similarity. Hypothalamus stimulation and hormone production. But Harris is not a child. I have never tried the procedure on an adult. Any reason you haven't? Because unlike River, I went to med school and studied neuroscience. And not by reading about it over someone's shoulder on the metro. Let's try it. We don't even know his preferences. I'll find something. I mean you're willing to try. Just go. 
I'll open the front door for you. Let's ride, V. I know exactly where to start. Good grief. seem to like you. Careful this one doesn't start sending you out for donuts. Stay out of it, Johnny. Wait, meaning you're willing to traipse along behind Mr. Policeman like a pup? You know, moments like these, I truly mourn the fact I can't fucking suck you in. Fine, not gonna pry. Truth is, you could have done worse than Detective Blue Moon Ward. Already have. Got a brain parasite nibbling away at my nerve endings as we <laughs> speak. Uh, all right, Moon River, where are we heading? your badge didn't tell me about it why I don't know makes you a bit of a leadhead don't it yeah that it do it's just uh, it's not easy for me to talk about what's biting at my ass fair enough could tell me where we're headed though to Joss's Randy's mom she thinks he just ran away from home for now, keep the kidnapping between us. You gonna tell me why we aren't trying to find Harris's apartment? It's a house. I doubt he's keeping his victims in his basement. <laughs> Besides, we are trying. I wanna see if we can find some connection to Harris at Randy's. Pretty weak lead. Best we can hope for just now. Worried Yawin's gonna toe the line, rat you out to her superiors? Used to be friends. Doubt she'd do that. Plus, not that I'd use it, but I do know one skeleton she'd prefer remain tucked in her closet. Think Yawin will actually help us, all things considered? Yeah, these tiffs of ours always end up the same way. I'll tell you about it over a beer sometime. Really ought to focus on finding Randy now. Of course. This game has to be so radical with all the 3D post and shit. Right. Look, I bet they didn't have the boss to let you kill uh, kids in this game. He used to come over every weekend. Yeah, most likely, but um, and we'll have to get to a spot where I can save before I try. Change. It's not like this is fucking 90s Fallout, you know. Because if this was, I would have probably been trying to eat the fucking mouse in a threat. <laughs> Lovely neighborhood. Zip it, leather pants. Business with me or news about my Randy? Wouldn't drag your butt out here if you didn't. Joss, meet V. So V, is this about my Randy? Joss, I, I, I don't know how to say this, but Randy was abducted. Abducted? But he's alive, right? 
River! Tell me, damn it! Police caught the guy, but he caught a bullet and he's in a coma, being watched. But where's Randy? We're looking, Joss. Here? Listen, we need to look through Randy's things. Why? To find any lead we can. Trust me, Joss. Just don't destroy anything. Randy doesn't like it when anyone pokes through his stuff. Other ones are just like spandex. So there were Randy. Kids are playing outside. I find one. You have to have force to wear them. Indeed. Hang in there, Joss. What's on your mind? I think it's good she learned the truth. That's the trailer. Eyes peeled for details, eh? Uncle River! Monique! Dorian. Hey, guys. Is this your partner? Just a friend. <laughs> Give it a little bit, kids. <laughs> Mom's waiting for you with dinner. Hang on, I uh pause here. I can't pull out my gun. Fuck. Well, this is their old trailer. Randy moved in when I bought him a new one. Real hellhole, like in my good old days. Well, I was much more worried about the movie kids was buggy specials because. Gun dogs can be bought off any corner we say, back at the basics. Fire line purchase dealers' pockets, they can make your own concoction come from your garage. Devlon Shepherds will give you a uh, <laughs> quick to use the virus with very favorite boosters. It's fun. <laughs> you check around, I'll check the trash. And the spruce, take my focus, 1996. I've been used for a while. Upgrade to was excellent. Just scratched. Auto file, fanatic for track music styles. Hmm. Nothing in the shitter. Tainted Overlord. Favorite band. You know him well. We used to send him an album every year for his B-Day. Locked. You know where the key might be? Nope. Expensive tech. Randy had the scratch for this? You're joking. Chance Randy could afford hardware like this. Way too pricey. We gotta get in. But I doubt anyone knows the password. Can you crack it? Shut up, man! I'm trying to get to the fucking cap. Hmm. Hang on, give me a second. Because I want to help her more than anything. <laughs> I'm trying to do the thing in my casino. Shut up! Give it a shot. <laughs> Be 
Eureka. Help me scour this, will you? Well, that's a little bit complicated indeed. And the car has been over there sitting on my thumb. They caught Harris in a vehicle like that. Blockaded street. Shit, River. I remember that day. He lives close to an old school. True angel of empathy, this guy, huh? Figured out Randy's identity. Sent him the game as a present. This guy baited Randy like a pro. River, do you... Are you seeing what I'm seeing? No. There's no way. Why would he do that? Not only did they agree to meet, but it looks like Randy was as excited as any kid on his way to a theme park. Fuck. This creep definitely scrambled Randy's head. Natalie must have been the only person Randy trusted. Can we view this page with a link? Uh, we need to click the image, the right one with the people in it. Hmm. Something deeply fucked about that cartoon. My skin's crawling. Indeed. <sighs> Some kind of link. The one Randy wrote about? Let's find out. A hidden page set up by Anthony Harris. Christ. I'm gonna be sick. Ah, uh -huh, there's a friend of a cartoon. I mean, if you have been on uh, any place where you can post that, you can tell that the cartoons affect people in very interesting ways. Waka waka. Cough, cough. There was a file here. Deleted, looks like. But the name's still there. The name. Wasn't the video file on Randy's comp called something like that? Hey, look. The name of this cartoon matches the missing file on Harris's page. That's what we needed to find for Yawin. V, we've got it. Randy must have downloaded it. Sure, but V, don't you get it? This could be the key to Harris's mind. Here's hoping. Hey, uh, can you use any of that Netrunner magic to shake anything else out of this? Give us IP address. I'll tell you if I knew how. Shit! 
Not that kind of magician. Oh, okay. We'll have to manage without it. That cartoon, River. Could be what we've been looking for. You said yourself we needed something to get Harris to dream. Send it to Yawin. Right. Sending it now. Okay. It says she'll get back to me by morning. And that I am a son of a bitch. And, uh, uh, come on. Let's grab a bite. <sighs> oh, boy. Listen, let's not worry Joss more than we need to, huh? Hot on the trail. We'll know more tomorrow. That's it. Oh, I would have spent uh, uh, the expert, but I should have to get the fucking technical ability, but fuck it, what can you do? Also, if you didn't know this, uh, Please. there was something great about it. Like Joss? We're like with the audio for a moment there. All done. Off to bed then. Thanks, Monique. Tell me you found something. Looks like Randy knew his kidnapper. They were in touch. Why would he do something like that? You know him. Kids. Look for help in the wrong places. When's the last time you ate? Yesterday. Have mine. I'm not hungry. Thanks. Maybe later. River, tell me and be honest. Will you find him? River's a hell of an investigator. Randy's as good as found. Won't give up until I do, Joss. Joss, you mind if he takes Randy's trailer for the night? No. Sure. Stay in, right? You gotta help me see this through. To the end. Of course I'll stay. Yeah. Find your way, all right? Yup. Gonna hit the sack soon. Can't be easy raising three kids on your own. Well, it wasn't any easier with my husband. In fact, the best days were when he didn't come home. Of course. Natural. There were times I wished he'd disappear for a month just to not have him hang around. That bad, huh? His bike in the highway. That was his world. But at home... Let me tell you a story. Oh boy! Depression time, kids! This one time he took Dorian into the city. Had some errand to run, just father and son. He came back that night, dead-ass drunk. Raging at me for calling the cops on him. Did you? River found him in some dive and brought Dorian home. How'd he die? Thale de Caldos told me he died an honorable death. Whatever the hell that means. They showed me his body, where his face used to be. Couldn't see the honor in that. Let's, um, change the subject. Hang in there, Joss. V, wake up. <sighs> Not done sleeping. Yawin called. It worked. The cartoon. He's dreaming. You, you got the BD. Right here. Slot it in. Jack into the computer. I want to see it on the monitor. 
Oh boy. That dock of yours is quick, not bad. Oh, I knew I was hoping the world was going to be fucked up. I have to report this. I hope you understand that. I keep saying the world all kind of fucked up. Anthony, you killed Liam's turtle. He was sick. He wouldn't eat, stayed in his shell. I just wanted to help him. By injecting him with HGH? What were you thinking? Is this something your father taught you? Good people took you in, extended their trust. This is how you repay them? Your friend died. I understand. But that is no excuse. Fuck you. What did you just say? Okay, I've had enough. The principal's gonna hear about this. Your foster parents, too. I see. Like father, like son. Oh boy, he's going to murder someone. Don't you dare talk about my dad! That's right, you little shit. I know it all. Farm failed, dad put a bullet in his head. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You can't talk about my dad, you... you prick! You... you can't! You... you can't! He... he was sick. Weak. I just wanted to help him. There we are. We know the general area where Harris lived. Guess that'd be that. Alright, see you later. Trophy. Old one. Dated from 2042. First place in an interscholastic wrestling tournament. Something? I asked you a question! I... I don't know. Choline, I'm at thy nine levels. See anything odd? Um... Too low? You were supposed to check before school. What do you gotta say for yourself? I was gonna die because of you. Gotta kill it like you killed your mama. I... I'm sorry. Don't apologize, just dial up her hormones. And shut up that goddamn cartoon. How many times I gotta tell you not to leave it like that, hmm? Half the day I spent trying to turn that shit off.
Sucker too. Tone of voice you would love it. Guess that'd be that. Right. Looks even younger here. Tony! Where you going? Now! Come here! Coming! <sighs> Got no way to ID him. Kid's father was a real hard ass. Looks like a cattle bio scanner for checking vitals. See that? Cow's sick, like the rest. Come here! Come here! Supplements in the feed for disease-free livestock. This might be the place, V. Got some cable. It's a recent memory. Gotta be his hideout. Got a clock. It's an hour to midnight. Looks like Peter Pan turned this farm into a goddamn final bastion. Must have been an auto shop or something here at some point. Machine controls an injection system for stimulants, hormones, something. I'm hearing trash barge. That's the signal the dump has to be a landfill nearby. Fuck me. He treats the kidnapped boys like cattle. Look, another one. The terminal controls the pens. Gotta be another deck somewhere for the mines and turrets. Fire department search stamp right here. City South, perfect.
to see Randy anywhere. Signage on the farm model points to Petrochem. Illuminated Towers, promoting the Us Cracks album that came out then. The colors changed every hour. I think that might be it. Not so sure, River. I think we ought to explore a bit more. Let me see how it fucking ends, you motherfuckers. Probably right. Okay. Come here, you rascal. You'll hurt yourself. Tony will take good care of you. Easy now. Well, that's nice and fucked up. <laughs> So, where do we sit now, exactly? We know Harris still lives near an old school that's now underwater. You can see the Hello. ancient skyline. Hello! Are you doing Hellstorm, Brad? It's a few miles out. Farms located near a landfill. We know that, too. Those towers promoting the Us Cracks album. Colors change regularly, once an hour. Same at the time. Eleven at night. Right. And that puts the farm east of the city. Southeast, actually. Stamp on the NCFD certificate was from the southern region. Farm models of Petrochem design, so that eliminates any others. Which narrows it down to Edgewood Farm. That's gotta be our place. So, we've got it. Just hope we didn't fuck it up. Come on, we gotta go. Get distracted. You gotta focus on the road. Easy for you to say. That's my nephew out there. We'll find him, River. <sighs> I'd only known sooner how he felt. What was eating at him? This isn't your fault. I'm his uncle, Lee. And I wasn't there for him. Fuck! River, this is the farm. We got it. I know. Let's get to the barn quick.
bark, two more turrets. Gates of death trap. I told you to turn off. You rascally bastards. No worries, I've got a body of 20. If this game would just count on it, but it doesn't. Because it's a metal made one. River, come here quick! Sorry, I oh. Probably gone already. Of course they are. He's here. Ready! He's hanging in there. We made it. V, shut down the machine. Can't unlink Randy otherwise. Brandy! 1052. I repeat, I've got a 1052 at a farm south of the city. Yes, send the fucking squad! Yeah, we're laying coordinates now. No, several, at least. Do it quick, damn it! Oh, watch for automated detection. They're substantial. Hurry, gotta shut it off. Okay, all disconnected. Check the others. Could still be alive. Right. Easy there, easy there. Hey, you're all right now. Been dead a few days already. Hey, help me with Randy. One moment, got one more to check to deal with. Dehydrated, but you're gonna be fine. V, help me with Randy. Come on, man! I've got a body of twenty. What the fuck? Did it, River? Yep, we sure did. But I'm not about to leave it like this. The horror that bastard inflicted. Can't let it go. What do you want to do? Zero him? Exactly. Squeeze the life out of him with my bare hands. Sick fuck has to die. Oh, I need to double check about the room as we because my friend asked for it.
In a normal world, I would go, don't do it with her, because there would be more proper ways to deal with it, but... But since this is not probably gang-related, so probably... Refer, come on, man. It won't change anything. Anthony Harris is a sad sack of meat, hooked up to a respirator now. For how long? He has to die. It's the only way I'll be sure. Stop. Gonna throw your life away getting revenge on a brain-dead vegetable? Well, I don't know. Maybe you're right. But it's driving me crazy not doing anything. Actually, got quite a bit you can do, River. Joss, Randy, the kids. They're gonna need you now. More than ever. Yeah. No, you're right. Forget about Harris. Take one day at a time, but rest first. Once your head's on straight again, give me a hollow. We'll talk. Yeah, need a little time to myself now. But then I'll call you. I will. Hey, we're ready for evac. Are you riding along or not? Really, V. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. No problem. Hey, don't be a stranger. Nothing comes close. Beyond twisted. Let's see then. <laughs> Got a job for you. My client had a shitload of beta assets stolen. 
What's beta acid, you might wonder? Fuck if I know. But it's worth a lot. And our client wants it back. That's where you come in. Iron at the ready. More info attached. Oh, I'll we'll have to see you a little bit. Here we are. Guess I just gotta wait. Kako sent me. Is that the Okada lady? Did she tell you how this is supposed to happen? My info is I'm supposed to off someone. No, not just anyone. Joshua Stevenson, a fucking murderer. I'll tell you more inside. Get in. You're driving. supposed to pass down this street. We just sit tight till they show up and follow. I want to see the light in that motherfucker's eyes go out. Whoa. Why? So he can smell his own fear before he dies. Want him dead? Why exactly? That's not your concern. Rather know what I'm getting into. Stevenson murdered my wife. They convicted him, put him on death row. But the slime bag found a get out of jail free card over my dead fucking body. Wait, Stevenson won't be alone? Could have prepared better knowing that. No one else needs to die today, only him. Who's his entourage? They gonna be packing? Ordinary people. Once we scare them, let them know we're serious, they won't lift a finger. How do you define ordinary? Corpo rats who got him out of the can. They'd sell their own mothers to save their own skins. Just don't fire at them. Nothing to do but wait, then. What's your name? V. Let me tell you something, V. That sack of filth took the life of someone I loved. I can't live with the thought that he... There they are! Step on it! Fuck off! Fuck off! Watch out! Could have gone in a less shitty car and what's happening with the fucking lights? Fuck! We can't leave him 
here. Media vultures will be here any minute. The fuck are you doing? Stop! NCPD! Stay where you are! And get that goddamn semi out of here! We take him with us. What? You want, Olga, you want me to come with you? <laughs> I need you. You're out of your fucking mind. Hey, another word from you, and I am calling the studio. Gregor, don't make me ruin your career. Busted hit on my guy. Nobody, and yeah. I mean One nobody, guy. will harm we'll jump on your head. Head. No priors, but run a decent uh, just to be sure. Borrowing you. Thanks, I owe you. No patrol car. What the hell and is stay this? off the frequencies too. Can't have this coming back. What's your name? This. First, you're gonna tell this me what the hell is going on. Mess. But I can explain. Just a dickhead. Don't go. Just listen. To I fucking listen. I need you. We're clear it's to go. Okay. Boys from the precinct will mop up. Need to tell here. me. My name is Joshua Stevenson. And your associate? What was his name? Bill Jablonski. Ring a bell? Sadly, yes. You teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Wait a sec. You're V. I heard of you. Can't say the same about you. We can't take him. Out of the question. He's way too big a threat. Well, I want to give him a job. <sighs> Christ on a stick. Finally, something that isn't a complete snore fest. Could binge watch this all day if I had some popcorn. Shut the fuck up, corpse! You gonna tell me what it is you want from me? Well, this one time Rachel is right. We can't stay here. Come with us. You'll find out all you need to know on the way. Got to object strongly. Noted. But you don't have a phobia. Ha! <laughs> That's it. Got no fucking idea what this is about. But if you don't go with them, I'm never talking to you again. I repeat, shut up, corpse. With you. Move it. We're running late. Have you ever experienced anything that changed the meaning of existence? Changed your life? Fuck. The hell possessed me to get in. Twelve years ago, I was sentenced to prison for armed robbery. And other sins. I shot and killed several people in cold blood, and it didn't mean anything to me at the time. But behind bars, you get all the time in the world to think. And I thought to correct the errors of my ways. I still don't get why you're telling me this. I want you to understand what I am about to do. Spill already. What do you want from me? Stay with me for the day. And I'll pay you what you were promised to kill me. Uh, excuse me? With what money? Not mine. The studio's. And the studio will pay. <sighs> I still got no idea what it is you want from me. Remain by my side and talk to me. That's it. Try Vasquez. You can probably get him to speak if you dangle a dog treat in front of his nose. Go fuck yourself. Vasquez sees me as nothing but a liar. Scum that should have been fried in the electric chair. You're the one I want to talk to. You know... Still got that contract to kill you. What's to stop me from fulfilling it? Me. One strange twitch, I kill you. Hey, there's no reason to upset Vasquez. Your fixer will get with it. One second, I, I, I need coffee for this.
figure that. Trust me. Everyone will be satisfied. I guarantee. Just till the end of the day. Till the end of the day. I sense anything going wrong, I'm out. No one will force you to stay. We're almost at Gloria LMR's. Give me a moment, I need to prepare. Oh boy. Vasquez, keep an eye on them. I'm gonna stay in the car. Keep it short. We're on a tight schedule. You're late. I found a companion along the way. Someone from the studio? Do you remember what you wrote me in your last letter? He is everything you spoke of. V, meet Zuleka. Wouldn't mind knowing what's going on here. Anyone? You haven't told him anything? <laughs> we just met. There wasn't time. That was all the time in their world for the fucking... Mama, I ought to shoot you just being a bastard. We can talk inside until she returns. Uh, come in. Hurry up. I'll be waiting outside. Come on, smart man. Say something smart. Why don't you crack a funny funny man, hmm? Can I offer you anything? A drink? I'm good. Thanks. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Zuleika is the sister of the man I killed. She wrote me letters while I was doing time. That is how we two were united. Through forgiveness. Why are we here? Why are we here? And who are we waiting for? Tell me, V. Do you believe in God? For all I know, there could be a higher power out there. But nobody's been able to prove it. No one ever will. Faith is something no one but you can do. Zuleika and I have a, a running dispute. I was thinking you could help us resolve it. No, no. I never agreed to anything like this. Fuck it, why not? Joshua, he, he thinks he's the Messiah and wants to end his own life. <laughs> that is not true. I never said I was any sort of Messiah. Suicide? Do you really think that's what the Lord could ever want from me? It won't be suicide. What exactly is going on here, Josh? When the media learned I'd found God in prison, the next day my face was on the cover of every screen sheet. A brain dance studio took notice. They sent representatives to make me an offer. <sighs> Bloodsuckers. I was facing the electric chair. Now. With the studio's help. My death will be more than a state-sanctioned murder. They want to scroll a brain dance of Joshua being crucified. An execution like any other. Just garbed in holy robes. Why the brain dance? What, what's in it for you? Zuleika transformed me into a child of God. It's time I repaid that debt. I want to bear witness to love's existence in a manner that all the lost souls on this wretched earth can understand. 
Why love? If unconditional love exists, then so must God. It's time the world was reminded of his divine presence. Think of the millions jacked into their feeds like livestock. The children growing up in gang-infested streets. Do they know love? Think of the joy toys on Jig Jig Street. Coked out corpos in their offices, and murderers who stalk the streets. I want to reach them. I will reach them. And think of paid killers like you, V. Have you known love? Do you know what it is? Mother's home. Joshua Stevenson. We meet again. And who are you? My name is V. Go. You are not welcome here. Mrs. El Amar. I have come to beg you for forgiveness. You... You murdered my son. That is something I can never forgive. I truly do regret the pain I have caused you. Out of my house, no! Just go, please. Out, all of you! <laughs> we should leave, really. Please, Mrs. Elamar! Murderer! It's okay, just go! You took my Reuben from me! My child! My son! <laughs> Let's go back to the car. It's raw. <laughs> I wish I could have talked to Gloria, you know, explained everything. You know, somehow I thought... I, I thought she'd find it in her heart to forgive me. Time to grab a bite to eat. Who can blame her? It's not easy to forgive your son's murderer. Stevenson, we all knew how that would end. If you forgive anyone their sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. You really aim to spin a virtue with your crucifixion. Ugh, yes, really. You'll be kicking up a shitstorm. Hater's gonna hate. It is something I must do. For if this won't shake the world to its core and wake us from our collective nightmare, then nothing will. Well, I got good news for you, nothing will. Take Stevenson inside, grab us all a table. Tell her I said hi Need a you. word with our stowaway here. Sure. Wait up a sec, I want to talk. So, what do you think about our next big BD star? He's got some organic chips loose. Needs psychiatric help. Hmm. My thoughts exactly. But it's too late for that. Come on, let me at least shoot him. You say. Why is he so important to you? Because Stevenson's got a little something that's in short supply, but in very high demand. That little something's called authenticity. And that brain composed entirely of cat shit at this point. He truly believes what he says. I think he might be more self-possessed than you think. 
Look, you're no shrink and neither am I. We're both so just what? out to get paid. So deal with him. No. Stevenson could be a now. fat old fucking gold vein for our studio. And that's my concern because... You're fucking with his mind, asking probing questions. You're making him doubt, and most importantly, jeopardizing my investment. So I'm prepared to pay you double what he's promised you to quietly walk away. Don't do it, V. My answer's no. Why do I think you don't understand what I'm offering you? I don't think you understand who you're talking to. Let's go inside. Not bad for a petty mark off the streets. Grown curious how this will all end. In pain and profit, that's how. One's sacred, the other's insane. But who knows if they aren't congruous concepts. But yeah, I'm curious too. And I've been surprised before. Hmm. How's she feeling? Tell her I said hi too. <sighs> Pies. <laughs> Kids. Oh, and here I was hoping there was going to be a fucking standoff. Got a tough customer with that Vasquez, even for a badge. He is set in his ways, like so many men. Oh, fuck it. Please talk about something besides faith. Josh, you're a knight. Topic of choice? Uh, I don't know. I spent years not talking to anyone. Okay. Nothing hard. What do you do to relax? Uh, well, let's see. I, I, I read scripture. I watch brain dances and movies. Did you hear about the remake of Badlands Raid? Yeah. Kicks the original's ass. Trust me. Chatter's pointless. That's enough. Stevenson can't be distracted. He has to focus now. Relax, Rachel. Guess what? I don't know anything about you. How do you spend your leisure time? What do you do to unwind? None of your fucking business. I mean it as a serious question. I meditate. Didn't take you for one with the spiritual side. You being... Well, you? Know what your problem is, all of you? You refuse to understand that spirituality can only ever be personal. And why the fuck are you here anyway? For the free meal? I'll tell you exactly why. No, I, I don't give the slimmest shit what you have to say. Then don't open your uh, fucking mouth. Just talk about grace and salvation and transformation. I could puke. Take it from a beady producer. Religion's an elaborate lie. All of them. But, Rachel... No, we're done for the day. Finish your meal, we'll put you up at the studio. And you, get lost. We'll get your fee soon. Goodbye, V. I am truly glad to have met you. I was almost expecting that man to start talking. <laughs> Guy just might be the biggest nut job I've ever seen, but it's still corporate exploitation. My name is Jefferson Perales, and I approve. I just feel bad for him. We could talk in circles, but who cares what we think? What would it change? The corpse will continue to grow rich off his type, and the masses will live on with their pipe dreams. Hang on, where's Rebel John? He seemed to have lost him. Well, I found him. He's inside that guy. He's the real rebel. Make up your mind, which is it? Nut job. <laughs> He's fucked in the head. 
The world's fucked in the head, and you're fucked in the head because my fucked up head is inside it. <laughs> if you want to save the world, that's the first step. Get fucked in the head. What do you think? God exists? Fuck. Kill me. <laughs> Answer the question. Serious question. What? Why? So you flatlined, then got your beat back. Don't tell me that's left you wondering if a construct can even be saved. The truth is, I died and rose again. Plain and simple. So yes, I'm basically Jesus. A miracle? What's it make you? Messiah, a phoenix, or a factory restored early model archer? Got no fucking idea what it was. And neither do you. Tell you exactly what brought you back. A clever bit hey, of corpo tech. There. If there's yeah, a true messiah among us, you. I'll tell you who it is. Saburo Arasaka. <laughs> One you'd summarily execute if you ran into him. See, that's why I'm me and you're you. You drop to your knees before gods. I drop them. Pop them right between the eyes. Oh, look at the big man with the big... Weird as fuck today. Just kind of unreal. But reality beckons. Come on. We got places to trash. And the best chefs in the universe. If you are looking for a taste of paradise, don't wait a microsecond longer. Send space to 7299 right now. Deal with him. No. <laughs> All right. Time to see what another nut chap does because. Uh, well, I still got plenty of fucking time, so I might as well see what the mission is about. Ooh, well, I remember. This ISIS. Hmm. Do you know what he needs to have a he might be heard about? This man who is part of the Attica, the man you all part of the worship. Do. 
Sweden book reviewer actually is. Have so here's the deal. Uh, one world's mystery. I need to get in touch. Besides this. Right. Of course. Yeah, you know what, let's uh, go with this. Sniper, sniper, sniper. Yep.
Anal violation. <clears throat> Last year, the city council of Night City. Good on them. <laughs> Okay, with that one. No three, and let's see.
Ah. Well, that explains it. Uh, excuse me? Oh, my bad. Kind of spaced out. Welcome to the Dew Drop Inn, where every day begins with a smile. Anything available short notice? Uh, one sec. Uh, check in. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Got one on the ground floor. Is that okay? I'll take it. Nova. Rooms number 106. Oh, but hold on. I gotta read you this. Do drop in cannot be held liable for damages to personal effects and guest well being. We reserve the right to deny service by force if necessary. Please enjoy your stay. Thanks. Like I never left home. than your place. Oh. Suffocated, looks like. Probably in his sleep. A peaceful death in this town? Guy won the jackpot. Gonna puke? Smell that, right? The ventilation. Hmm. Papers from the room upstairs. Wait, wait, is that... No, oh, neoamphetamine. <laughs> mean to tell me you can pin the exact drug from just a whiff? <laughs> like a police dog or what? I'd say more like a... a sommelier. <laughs> Time to look upstairs. Got a feeling our Ripper's supplies up there. Somewhere close to a vent. in the sight. Asked you nicely. Should I ask another way? All right, all right. No need getting worked up. Yeah, I work maintenance. Plumber, electrician. Don't let me get in your way. Don't get in my way, asshole! What did I ever do? 
Attention NCPD subcoms. Suspected organized crime activity reported on Hargreen Street. APB out for Darius Miles, wanted for murder. Herb belongs to 6th Street Gang and leads one of its drug manufacturing rings. The city has promised a reward for terminating the threat from Miles and his drug cell. He didn't even fucking flinch! Of course! What the fuck? Welcome back, Storm Bread. How you doing?
Hello, you died. Yes, I fucking know! Because the goddamn fucking thing always blows, blows a fucking explosion out of its ass and it doesn't explode me. Why the fuck it explodes? Because it's like it don't fucking see what fucking explodes. I could call a fucking carpet bombing under the fucking base and it would still fucking explode like a thin fucking air. Marius, welcome back to you, Strifey. How are you doing? Unless you and Stormbraid are the same thing. Or the same person. Oh. Oh! Drink it, coffee. Good, good. Judging your. <laughs> Uh, who fucking doesn't? Oh, well, you're right. Um, I think it would be time to continue with actual main mission. Missiones. Do it, do it, fucking do it. Thoughts on Mackinnon of 128k. Get off the road, dick shit. You have to get a journey so there's something out of your head. I mean, he, he fits pretty rather snugly inside my head now, and I don't have any more of those. Uh, you know, relic withdrawals, so I think I'll be do doing rather fine. Even though he is pretty chatty for a fucking corpse. Deal. Ooh, that's a lovely car. Oh, hey. how you been? Been all right. I was thinking. Keep 
drop by for dinner, maybe. Joss has worked up a hankering to cook for the family. Huh. Haven't forgotten I exist after all. I had to sort some things out. Help my sis. Randy's still in the hospital. Someone has to keep an eye on the kids when Joss visits him. Relax. Don't need to explain. Right. So? You gonna stop by? How could I say no? Right, great. See you at Joss's then. Sounds pretty. Right, uh, seems like we're doing a little bit of side stuff before we go to... <laughs> uh, follow up with the mission. But first, we need to buy ourselves a really prime car. White Noma, very prime, not Choom. <laughs> words, words, cyberpunk, words, words, Night City, words, words, Silverhand, words, words. Can I even afford it? Oh yes! I even get a uh, 2k on the extra side! I could save that money for... Uh, you know, some extra bits on the Ripper Dock, but who cares? I could get that money by just sitting down next to a uh, drop-off point and crafting some extra... <laughs> Uh, sniper rifles for myself. We can never have too many rifles, indeed. Especially to sell. Asshole! Came out of fucking nowhere. I know, right? Hit by a car. Just like a real Lifre. Yeah. Hello, V. Uh, Jefferson? Listen, I need your help again. Matters private. Sure. Okay. What's it about? Not on the hollow. Come by. I'll lay it out. Explain everything. Got your back, Jefferson. Not to worry. Great. We'll see you here then. Remember where? Of course. Be there in no time. Um, save here, just in case. Let's see. Hey, it's Rachel, the uh, Passion Project BD. Oh, yeah. What's up? Got a crisis on our hands. Could really use your help. Stevenson's had a breakdown. Nothing to shrink to about it. Can you come here to the studio just to talk to him? Fine, sure. On my way. He said he'll come. Thanks, V. Hmm. Intriguing. Now, if you excuse me.
That's the challenge coming up in the Bentley Cups game by. Also, uh, there's someone who's spilling the thing or you better do the deal. The car's getting some new dents in the very past, isn't it? Oh, I just can't resist. Oh! Gonna be this way earlier, but you know, you know how it is. Come out alone and you won't get hurt. Oh, I just got to. I didn't even know what got him. <laughs> I mean, I think he did, but uh, don't know how long he had to register it.
five. Sorry, Riva, I'm just really slow on this because I need to fucking shoot everyone that I am commanded that I can shoot at. Oh, fuck off! Hey, does this still stock pellets? You know, I'm really good at this uh, shooting people with shotgun malarkey. There we go. <laughs> Thanks to your shotguns, I have so many shotguns in Yurita playing in my head. <laughs> I mean, hey, what can I do for it? Shotguns are nice. Shotguns are awesome. You can shot many bullets at the same time. <laughs> I need a man multiple times. It's a complete time saver. Better than revolvers and pistols. Uh, even if revolvers are nice as well. But not as sh nice as shotguns. But that's beside the point. 
Patience is a virtue. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Here I get worried. Howdy. Hey, how's it going? Glad you're here. We need your help cooking. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. We can stir the meat. Um, soy meat. Okay. You know, maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. Uh. Is this an ancient ward family secret? Uh huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. <laughs> I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Bet my socks you've never had better jambalaya. How's, uh, Randy holding up? He's looking for his old self. Physically, though, it'll be a long road before he's back to full health. And, uh, mentally? That was... Some experience. Mm. What Harris did to him. Fucked as this might sound. Might have helped the kid. Could be wrong, but... Feels like a clean break for him. Honestly, thought you were kidding about the cook-off. With the Joss had sweat away in the kitchen while... How? Joss doesn't know the first thing about cooking. <laughs> Actually, I like to torture foodstuffs. <laughs> Haven't had many opportunities lately. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but I gotta ask, what about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure, no pressure. It's just I, uh, you know. I know. All right, I think you've stirred enough. Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. That's exactly what I told him. But he always got the same speech back. That's Maddie, nice. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly fit the mold. In those words, yeah. Wanted to tear my hair out every time I heard him. And when can I visit again? That's great. Because I really want to bring him something. He loves music, so... Sorry. No, I'll remember. Just tell me. Thanks so, so much. You've been wonderful. Huge help. Mm-hmm. Yes. Talk again soon. Really nice of you to come. Uh, thanks for having me over. I should be thanking you. How's Randy? Still in the hospital. Still in shock. But he's making progress. Haven't had a chance to tell you just how grateful I am. It was all River. I just helped. I just don't know how to repay you. If Randy uh, had... Don't owe me a thing, Joss. Thank you. River's in the backyard. He couldn't wait to see you again. in next now you can toss in the rice rice is in okay now this has to bubble and brew patio grab 
Grab a chair. And a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah. Seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. He's still in a coma? Yep. In a strange slumber between life and death. An empty shell in a hospital bed. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River? Oh, my parents died. Oh. Sure you want to hear this? What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. Small grocery in this economy. They wanted cash. Okay. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. River, you don't gotta go on. Heard sob stories enough? No, just. This is tough, I can tell. You really don't need to rehash it now. Okay, yeah. You're probably right. Just, Harris, what did you do? Had the gun to his head, and... I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. But what now? You're not going back to the PD. PI has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle River, we'll you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. Me? Join us? What are we gonna play, Uncle River? You'll see. Dorian, we're playing! Yeah, big trouble in Haywood. Grab your set. <laughs> Adorbs. Well, what do you think? Always wanted to try a game like this. Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Who? Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. <laughs> I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. <laughs> yeah, me too. Got a crash course? Anything I ought to know? The entire city is sick with crime and corruption. Lawlessness rules the streets. Hmm. And we're no saints either. Even the police are haunted by the sins of their past. But the city's without hope. No one else would ever dare face El Chamuco and Diablo. Oh, that was just super annoying. But I know we can beat them. Yeah, I mean, what do you expect from kids? They are annoying by nature. All right, let's get to it. I know I was right. one. All we gotta do is track down it. I'm trying to work against that nature. <laughs> and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids. But we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You've got standing chance. Hey V, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there he is! Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! 
<laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. Watch out! It's Scroonies! Not done yet. Next round, next round. This way. It must be their rat infested hideouts. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off. Mm, quiet. Too quiet. It's a trap. They were waiting for us. Kind of adorable, though. Flat beat. Hey, food's on the table. Just uh, one second. So, For fuck's sake, game. jump through. Awesome. Ah. Oh well. The bad guys. Huh? Oh yeah, the bad guys too. Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations? Grew up in Haywood. Whole street was my family. Neighbors helped each other out. Thought nothing of it. Nothing's more important to me than my kids. I've made mistakes. Life's gone off the rails sometimes. But I had my kids. I got my kids. Joss, you see me being a parent ever? I mean, I don't exactly look like good palm material myself, so... Yes! Who says yes? I do. <laughs> he raised his hand to 
<laughs> v, are you seeing someone? Involved? Fess up, please. Um. Well, that's decided. Got an 1199. Officer need backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Ah, uh, adorable. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew, situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. <laughs> you just getting out of doing the dishes. Admit it. Also true. Which gives us two reasons to go. <laughs> ah, that body's yeah. adorable. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? Having a drink? Shooting the shit. This way. Oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Gonna fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. Yeah. Okay. Good. I mean, I could have just ripped it open, but fuck it. Just push. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> On our way. It's raw. <laughs> Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places uh, to raise kids. But yeah, famous bit of fucking appreciate this because I'm probably gonna lose on a good fucking shotgun because of this Roman's fruit. Randy takes after his old man. Maybe. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. For fuck's sake, River, climb faster! <laughs> Apparently, the worst city between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. I find it calming. Out here, you can't smell the shit the corpse dump on the streets. Like the city's their own personal toilet. Shit, flush, repeat. Mm. Poetic. Couldn't have said it better. Got something for you. Wow. What's the occasion? Fucking knew it! Aiming to close the door. A stage of my life is done. This thing holds too many memories. Won't let me do that. It'll serve you better. Thank you. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. This very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. Now for the highlight of the evening. Up for a drink? Something strong is sure to hit the spot. Now that I understand. <laughs> ah, fuck it. To us. Whoa. Sorry, I, I thought. What are you doing? Right. Look, no need to explain. Listen. I get it. And it's fine. To friendship. To which I already fucked up. To friendship. Oh. Um. Got any more of that? Two bottles of whiskey and a case of beer ought to be enough. We'll see about that. Buckle your liver in. It's gonna be a long night and a longer morning. <laughs> so. How disappointed, disappointed do you think Famous is going to be?
Uh, think it's cry, please pass. Maybe she didn't come. Yesterday, yeah. Um, but now I gotta roll. Promised Joss I'd take her to see Randy. No rush either. Get your sea legs back. Take as much time as you need. Sure, you're good to drive. <laughs> Please. Former NCPD. I'm a pro on Hangover Highway. It'll be fine. Apologize to Joss for me. We kind of dined and dashed yesterday. And left puke all over the bathroom? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Tell Randy, hey. Will do. See you later, V. I mean, just think that it also free me up for some more things. Uh, I could go for the Mox girl next, Judy. If nothing else, get the chance to see if I can get the fucking shotgun. In an easy shotgun, more shotgun. Dave, we need more shotgun, please. Bring Did you always have to kill a kid? No, but we'll soon have the chance, I'm sure. I just need to kill some other people first and then we'll see if we can kill the kid. I don't know what that language was, I'm sorry. So this is where I get off. Fucking trash lands. If this is going to be a Breaking Bad reference, I'm going to do something regrettable. <laughs>
What? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oop. You could have told me that my beautiful face wasn't visible. We'll give you everything for free now, can we? Indeed. This game seriously needs a fucking quad bike or something for situations like this. Or even better, a hover car. It's 2077 and yes, the car still don't fucking fly. Die! Outside of ramps. Oh fuck off! You're the moron who just can't get out of the fucking way when the man wants to use this fucking destination point. Can't a man take a bus when he wants to? I wonder if they want to give you a customization for your dick that you can helicopter around. <laughs> they love this game. Hard for me to say, I, I can't access my penis. <laughs> That's a phrase I didn't expect to say today. You can't access your penis. Okay! Oh! Uh, how about you, Sophie? Would you expect to access your penis? <laughs> Uh, it's like there's a streamer mode in this game that has the titties and such, but a Switch ban you for those. Yeah, the, the, I have it on. That's why I cannot access my penis. That's the point. <laughs> uh, just remember, folks, always have ready access for your penis. You never know when you want it. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Get in touch with administration at North It is good to see you, V. Seems pretty uh secluded here. Can you say penis on the internet? <laughs> for such a penis, 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 penis. Penis? Penis. 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 You see a man penis. with implants, <laughs> money and dignity. Look well. It is not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at anchor in the bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Sure you can trust him? Yes. <laughs> Convincing. Very. 
I have nothing to lose. Is that better? Worse. Because I got plenty to lose. And losing all the time. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. I'm sorry. <clears throat> no, I'm not. Is this him? Your thief. He's my witness. Be Why the stream, indeed? <laughs> so speak. I have been told you know things. Was there. Saw what happened. Yorinobu strangled the old guy. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not. Holy samurai warrior! The truth. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now, but I'm sorry, but is this gonna take much longer? Because I'd rather murder you right now. I do you a favor now, by not cutting it off and taking it straight to your inaugural summer. What would you do now, were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to your inaugural summer. Oda, consider not like we're asking. Okay, Muro says a combat stereotype. They both do. One brief meeting. Hanako should decide if what we say is true. You can't decide for her. Will you help? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. No way this is gonna work. Mm, yet. If we walk away with a small measure of success. Hmm. How do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see that parade? It is our chance, perhaps, if, somehow, we can get to Hanako-sama. We must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? I'm just a fixer dame. Okaku Akada runs a pachinko parlor on Jigjig -Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? JJ Street. What is this name? Just a night city name. Beware, you mock me too often.
You all right, Goro? Yes. yes. Why is that a concern? <laughs> Have shared interests. You That's what's weird. Or have you forgotten? Certainly, Certainly not. not. <laughs> <laughs> catching lead in Night City is easier than catching a cold. And I need you alive. I am alive and well, as, as you can see. see. You, you should, should worry about, about yourself. yourself. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Arasaka, oh, indeed. Your new ally is puppet screaming at the cameras and he insists that everything is under control. But the wider the spy, the bigger the lies. Not sure what the fuck makes the echo, but still. Either that or the van is bigger than it seems. This was another Samoa Kunavan Serenity. Yep, indeed. Understanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. You sure? I I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro des. Okada san, oai dekite kohei des. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Eddie's is why. Always about Eddie's, Wakako. You want to make them? We got biz. Doesn't get any simpler. So tell me, and mark well, I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka. Again. But it's not Arasaka. What I fail to understand is... Why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Arasaka, Tiger Claws, kind of like the family dog screwing the cat, huh? Can't possibly be fond of the people who killed your grandkid. That was very long ago. Time's the best healer? A wound like that, though. A wound like that, no. Everything's on the shots. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? For free? You sure? Got my reasons, but patience, I've got none. I mean, if you want me to do a favor for you, I can do that. Just fucking tell me to do a favor. Ja 
near Pine Town. The whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. I feel like there's supposed to be some UI stuff going on, but there isn't. And vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, the guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. Most especially since the mouse I cannot move. Here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner. One at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point. Here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Thanks, Wukako. We appreciate this, Okana-san. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Stay safe, Goro. You as well. Until next time. Come on, nothing smart to say. Of course. Might as well see Judy's thing to the end as well. Oh! <laughs> that was a long trip! <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. So yeah, how are you doing, Strafi? Everything good?
Well, don't be unfamous. Not very far now. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Probably dead. <laughs> or drinking. Talking with Michael. Or both. <laughs> 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Some deets about her could be useful when I talk to her. Don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. I'm ready. Let's go. All right, Judith. Hold on. I'll open it. Lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. You know how to get around their systems? Appears so. Was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as pie, yeah. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. <laughs> Surprise party, but you know. Yep, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a common thug. Yes, V. I mean you. Don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Judy has a proposal. About clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get worried. Right, let me shoot up. Loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the tiger claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. Basically murder. Or everyone will end up like Evie. Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Judy, let me murder! Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Greed, negligible. Doesn't it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Heard enough. I'm leaving. Judy, let me murder! And, so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely, Forrest will I'm be on the maintenance level here. in a couple minutes. And I didn't ask for your opinion. Judy, for fuck's sakes, let me murder! <laughs> I think she's scared stiff. She'd have lots to lose if things went sour. Everything, in fact. So she'll just let things go on as usual? Judy, this will be all easy if you just let me murder! <laughs> oh. 
Judy, I have the heads, man. <laughs> Do you know what it's going to take for doing? Taking heads. Please let me take heads. It's not going to be that hard. Just one point at them and click. Judy! For fuck's sake! Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. The line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. It took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could've gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you, a deck chair and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella? Somehow I don't see it. No, me and the deck chairs, me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. This game needs an auto follow thing like Yakuza has. Or at least Yakuza Zero has. Thank you for the information. Now, if you excuse me, I have a murder to do. Sweden has responded with force, sinking over a dozen refugee vessels in recent weeks. Despite humanitarian efforts, nearly 60 people have been killed. Wow, Sweden! And on this case, I just wanted to show you that I can murder. Please, Judy, let me murder. <laughs> Judith, I require murder. Please let me murder. For fuck's sakes, at least walk faster. I 
get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. Oh, he's bad, okay? Oh. I'll call you when I've got some. Uh, so it's junk food, but I still do it. Also, did the fucking Ziggurat just fly back into her body? The cutter. Okay, so I think we have time for one more, so, um, Which one, which one shall we go with, Strafi? The one for the crazy bitch who wants the man crucified, or the man who was supposed to be crucified? Oh wait, hang on. Paralysis. Wait, no. Wrong man. <laughs> okay, which one? Uh, the politician guy or the uh, BD person? The, cra the crucifixion woman or the wannabe politician? Uh, which one's Trifey? I'm crucified, crucified like my saviour. Okay, dope, there we go. Now this is what life is all about. Pretty cars and fast horse. <laughs> Ow! And eating the poles, indeed. Eating the pole, yep. But that's mostly because I'm just bad at steering. And also because the uh, steering in this game is kind of fucked. Uh, what can I? You do not think she will betray us? And the world doesn't like me. Where are you? Hey, I'm in Kabuki. Christians, how could anyone call this field some Kabuki? Kabuki is a form of health. I will let you know shortly. Let me know if I can be of help. I'm in the queue on the top but for now I will manage alone. Your time will come. Huzzah. Rachel's been waiting for you. Some people didn't like the idea of recording somebody's agony in Rome. Bunch of killjoys, that's all. Billions are gonna watch the brain dance. Studio's not afraid of a scandal, getting caught up in it. You kidding? Scandal's what they live for. <laughs> I'd be out there too if I could be. But I got a family to look after, and the job's what it is. Where do I go? Straight down this street, building with the officer out front. Thanks. I wonder if there's a uh, you know, upgrade that will make me sprint faster. Because I want to be the Flash, the Cyber Flash. Mm. Thought you look more. I don't know. Professional? 
Whatever. Get in. Lady, I know how to, I have a deadly shotgun and I know how to use it. Isn't that professional enough? Don't worry, Olga, we'll fix this. Trust me. We'll be on schedule. Help's on the way. Finally. We're late. Stevenson's been asking for you all day. He's in his dressing room. Go talk to him. You want to see me? I wanted you by my side when my soul departs this world. I have no friends, no family, only strangers as my company. Still, uh, set on scroll in this brain dance? I am more determined than ever. Shotgun dick enhancement. Trusting your pose for the shotgun. Only if it's an automatic shotgun with a barrel. <laughs> uh, magazine. This. Just not worth you dying for it. It's too late now. There's, there's no going back. I, I am so afraid. Will you pray with me? A prayer of your choice. Ah. <sighs> pray. But I'll be right here by your side. Breathe in me, O Holy Spirit, that my thoughts may all be holy. Act in me, O Holy Spirit, that my work too may be holy. Draw my heart, O Holy Spirit, that I love but what is holy. Strengthen me, O Holy Spirit, to defend all that is holy. Guard me then, O Holy Spirit, that I always may be holy. Amen. Time to start. Let's go. I truly hope Zuleika is praying for me now. Will you stay with me? To the end, I would like you to wield the hammer. Nail me to the cross. All right, Joshua. I'll do it. <gasps> Thank you. Yep, <laughs> I'm gonna nail a man to the cross. Why not? <laughs> Let's do this. Shut up, You're bitch. Gonna have to say some lines. A few. We'll put them up on the prompter for you. Uh, don't worry, bitch. I'll shoot you with a shotgun after this. You and Vasquez. Ooh. And this entire crew. I'll I'll do the whole lot of them. She looks like she's offended by everything. Well, to be fair, I think that's like half over half the people in the Night City. Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and save us. Yep, this will be fun. <laughs> but do you not fear God? You stand condemned under the same sentence. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. I mean, it's not as fun as shooting a person with a shotgun, but still. We are punished justly, for we receive what our deeds deserve. But this man has done no wrong. Remember me when you come into your kingdom. Truly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise.
I think this will take like a few days. So let's see, so far we have had Christianity and Buddhism. Do you think we'll find some Muslims around here? <laughs> Maybe some Sikhs? Father, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. Probably. <laughs> we can only help. Probably my hardest gig, that, but I got through it. What now? Going home, or I'll sleep for two days straight. Be in touch about your compensation soon. Be waiting for your call. Yep. Later. Right, let's see, um, uh, save here. Oh, come on! Fucking bullshit! Can't throw me shotgun out! Still got some fucking time, might as well go with three more. Right, so, while I remember, let's see if we can destroy the child, corrupt them all. <laughs> Will this be even an area where a child will spawn? remember around here being a high chance of a child being spawned. Yeah. 
Just when you need a child to actually spawn, <coughs> the one doesn't actually come around. The game is sensing my intent. Destroy the child. Nope, I can't. Shit. Yep. Uh, I mean, fuck, at least. Paula 2 had the boss to at least chastise you for killing the child. Oh, let's see what the Richies have to say. Hey, we're upstairs. Thanks. But then again, that was kind of expected. Destroy the child, corrupt them all. See you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. Mike, we're talking about the rest of my exactly. platform. I'm not doing you a U-turn just because Nightcore. I swear worst games and older games had like piano keys that actually moved on their own. Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll pow out later. Oof. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson. Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. This is better than not to do anything with cuckolding, buddy. <laughs> or else I'm going out. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it. So I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Security looking at this. Say anything? 
This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. He was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Can I just describe the mask? Was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either. I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? <sighs> Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? No. None. Elizabeth's at a loss too. This, um, security outfit. SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? No clue yet. Anyone besides SSI come to mind readily? Could be the same people who were behind Mayor Ryan's murder. Or Weldon Holt, Jeff's opponent in the race. The polls have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. <laughs> we could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Thanks! Come on. Let me show you... Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka. So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, huh, that'd be the real victory. Jeff's office, control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. Vote for Perales. We are paying the staff for a van for the campaign out of pocket. And we keep all the campaign stuff here. It's cheaper that way. This is where Jeff saw our intruder. And fired at him. Here. Right after walking Where's out the of the blood bedroom. from? At it yours? How he remembers it. I'm 100% sure it's not ours. <laughs> Maybe the intruders? Probably. Why is this door concealed? Where? There's no door here. Someone's showing something different. Wait. You mean here? Right here. It's closed. Previous owners left over, maybe? No. Open it. Somehow, please. Jesus Christ. I think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. Violated our privacy. 
use the man. Sons of bitches! Under I'm my sure own make roof! A Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Talking to yourself again? Too long. More and more. This ends now. I'm Ever not since this terrorist started fun. stalking me. Ugh. My head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. I bet the sun will be on my wall too. Most likely. In my place, there's no really room for a place like that, so, um, you know. It's probably below the floor, then. Who's that fitting cameras? Most likely. Weird hardware. What's it for? Connected to the wall mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. Text practically prehistoric, but it doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. Got a vision of the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. Transmitters within reach of our mystery band. I wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. Ah, let me see. Because uh, we took our eyes off her, she's now already fucking dead. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. And who might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Don't really see any other possibility. We still don't know who they work for. So what do we do with the transmitter? Nothing just yet. Let me check the van first. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember, it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Understood. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, game. Uh, this elevator better fucking explode or something. How about we take the wheels, V? That van could give us a slip any second.
And of course I can't hack it. Don't lose them, V. Oh, now you're interested. Jack. We could expose a Corpo conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be Corpo spies or who the fuck knows what. To be fair, I already do have a lot of spyware in my fucking household as it is. And none of them all that fucking hidden. One, uh, one is my fucking telephone, the other is the fucking microphone, the other is the fucking <laughs> webcam. Uh, I'm pretty sure my fucking PC and my fucking game consoles have some fucking tracking devices or something on them. Not that I'm paranoid or anything, no matter what people have been talking about me. and see a curated display but behind the scenes it's all out war citizens don't choose their representatives then who yeah. the key players string pullers they spy on all the paralysis look Shit. for weak spots blood bands, rig elections this can't end well johnny everything else but then again what do you have to hide my weird penis because no one likes a weird penis <laughs> <laughs> PD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity. Some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. I mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politician's mind? <laughs> Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs with size of paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it. That's your suspect. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. I mean, if they do, I know what to do. I'll fucking shoot them! Speaking of which...
Oh, fucking course. Okay, so I might have an idea why I keep on fucking exploding and fucking dying. Because every time I get a fu because I have a reactive electrochemic shock that st stuns everything around me, and then it the fucking affects the fucking exploding things around me, the which makes it fucking explode, so I can fucking die on the first time! Fuck! Ass! Shit! Oh... Lick my anus. Like all of my anus. Oh. Yeah, what now? Fucking jump! Actually, no, I guess you <sighs> oh, shut up, Strifey. Actually, don't. I, I'm very lonely. Good, you shot me in the dick. Yep, and I'll do it again. I'll fucking do it again. Watch me do it again, and I'll fucking do it. Pierced it, we're in. Couldn't ask that. Picture. Yes, yes, brain control, mind fucking, all of the funny stuff. Got other Quick. Shit. Now they wonder if. You don't shoot a guy in the dick. Well, I do. And I'll do it again. I'll do it again, Magoo! Wow, perfect U-turn. 
shocking. I must be starting to understand how this shitty game works. Oh, you know, it's just regular text to pop in, it's fine. Or not, yep, or not. Uh, just a freak accident, just like this game is, Hong Kong. Even AAA games can't run away from Slav Junk. That was a nice count, <laughs> you got your hands on it. Cozy little joint. Doesn't really match your style though. But it's perfect for one-on-one. -on -one. Here we are then. What is it? I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot, I can't gather my thoughts. <laughs> Wasn't that long ago since we last met? Something happened since then? No, I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Relax, no need to rush. Ah. Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me, becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something insidious. That's what brain machine does, indeed. Notice any changes in yourself. After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. That must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night, tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. I find it strange you took this to security instead of your husband. I thought I was going insane. I wanted to see what was on the feeds first. There was nothing there, of course, so what was I supposed to tell Jeff? And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. Wow, that's a very standing a cigarette there. He never introduced himself. And? You cut some kind of deal with him? No. I was told that our perfect lives could fall apart at any minute. That I have my husband's safety to think about. After, there was no record of the call. It was as if it had never happened. 
So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. You think if I tell him everything, that he'll go and pick a fight he can't win? I don't just think. I know. One thing hasn't changed. Jeff's still a fighter. And he'll go down swinging. Mm-hmm. So how do we play this? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. You truly prepared to fire SSI after the threats. It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's gotta take them down. Even by risking paralysis of lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. I think I'm gonna try and see this one to the end. Hey, hey, V, wait a second. Listen to that guy. How'd you rate his chops? Is my untrained ear? Sounds all right, I guess. I mean, it's easy listening at least. No, why? Technique's second rate, but the feeling—that's what counts. Guys hurt. Got something he can't take, and it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but not bad. You really know how to give a guy a compliment. Is that how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world away. <laughs> Top can be worth it. You want to shake the world, you know. <laughs> well, the world's got to feel you first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corpse. Who's going to sign you then? But give up your ideals, and no amount of eddies can buy them back. All right, princess. At least you played some gigs. Sell those memories of yours. True. We played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff, didn't even know who we were. So, you're saying some old samurai bootlegs are still floating around town. Ooh, I smell heads. No idea you were such a materialist. You could almost cry. Almost. Jokes aside, you think those tapes still exist? After all these years? Hmm. You know, Rainbow Cadenza's not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. Ugh. I'm gonna try and see the fucking Jefferson thing to the end.
Even if I wasted way too much fucking time thanks to fucking good old Johnny Golden Cock <laughs> saying these fucking things. Yes, I just really lolled out loud because I said Johnny Golden Cock. I'm almost 29! <laughs> He seems to like to steal the cell. Yep. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you tell them. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. Yeah. What? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. Oh, fuck. Yeah, sure, whatever. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth? What did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. I guess you got more, though. Strange as it may sound, don't got much. There's gotta be something. You didn't find any hard evidence? Sorry, it's all hearsay and speculation. Like what? SSI took money from all kinds of people. Holt among them. But it's a weak lead. Uh, too weak. Nothing that can help you, Jefferson. Damn. All right. I'll handle things from here. Meaning? First, I'm gonna win this damn election. Then, I'll find the motherfucker who spied on us. And if it was Holt, I'll find every last speck of dirt on him and bury him under the heap. Well then, good luck. You'll get your fee soon. You already got my gratitude. Goodbye, V. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. <laughs> Doesn't matter who or what. Our guy's outmatched. They can do whatever they want. He's fucked, V. So with that time I'm going to be ending the stream for now. So thank you everybody for watching. I will continue more on Saturday. With what I'm not sure what I want to kind of want to continue with with this one, but I also want to go through with more you know indie stuff, but I'll sleep on it. Still got Friday to think about, so yep. You're most welcome. Thank you for popping by Strifey. And you all see you next time. Good night.